There are two types of people, those who prepare for an emergency and those who wait for the emergency to happen before they start panic buying and preparing. Which category do you belong to? I would prefer if you belong to the first category. Then we could both grab our bags and head out the door if there's ever an emergency. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We will be discussing how to pack your bug out bag. Stay tuned to this video if you need help packing your bag. First, we need to decide on what to pack. Whenever we pack our luggage to travel, we sometimes end up packing items that we won't need on our trip. The same thing happens when we want to pack our emergency bags. We may be tempted to fill our bags with everything we own when all we need is just our essentials. Please keep it simple. Pack items you will actually need. Now this next one is important. Leave some room when packing your bag, just in case you need to pick up an extra item on the way. Another tip you should practice is having a backup for every item so that if one gets lost or broken, you can replace it. This way, you won't feel stranded or disorganized while on the bug out. If you have canned food, medicine, vitamins, and other items with expiry dates, always check your packed up bag and change them periodically. This way, you don't carry expired items on your bug out. Another thing you should consider before packing your bag is the terrain. The route you will take or the environment you will be bugging out to is important. Always carry items suitable for the environment. Now, on to the business of the day, organizing your bag. I have read in different articles that there is no specific way to pack your bug out bag, but I beg to differ. When you consider your health, the route, and items, there are two ways to pack a bug out bag. With the first method, you need to organize your items into urgent, non-urgent, and emergency categories. The items at the bottom of the bag will be non-urgent. In the middle of the bag, you should place urgent items like food, water, cooking gear, and others. They are better off in that position so that you can easily access them. The top of the bag should contain those items that you need to access within a moment's notice and are your emergency items and they should be kept on you or at the easy to reach parts of your bag. Now, the second way to pack your bug out bag should be in terms of weight. You need to pack your bag in a way that the heavy items are closest to your spine. This way, you don't put all the weight on your back or shoulders. Proactively packing your bug out bag will help you avoid throwing things in randomly, which could slow you down, lead to back pain, or cause injury. Instead, you should pack your bag in an organized manner. If you have any tips that have helped you pack the ultimate bug out bag, I would love to hear your own suggestions or any questions in the comments. Preparing for an emergency could be overwhelming, especially when you have no idea how long you may be surviving on what you packed up. When getting ready to pack up food in your bug out bag, ensure that you consider your health, the group size, likes and dislikes, shelf life of the food, and other factors. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, we will be discussing the types of food items that should be in your bug out bag. Stay tuned to this video as I list out the food items. Here we go. Dehydrated foods. Pack up food items like fruits, meat, or vegetables that have been properly dehydrated. You can prepare your own or buy some. This depends on your experience with preserving food items and if you're willing to learn. Dry pasta and noodles. These food items will go a long way, especially if you have fed on snacks for a while. You only have to worry about water and fire, and once you have those two, you can prepare your pasta or noodles in minutes and have a hot meal to enjoy. Meat pouches. There are varieties of meat in pouches that you can add to your bug out bag. Another food item to consider is rice, which is the go to meal that is rich and filling. You can add the meat to the rice and enjoy a delicious meal. Dried fruit, such as apricots and apples, and nuts. These food items are great snacks that could help lower your hunger level or keep you busy. 
They are not meant to sit in the bag for too long, though, as this may affect their shelf life. Ensure that you take them out once in a while to keep them fresh. You could also include biscuits, cereals, caffeine, sugar, beans, lentils, and other food items that are not heavy. Next, freeze-dried ice cream. This food item has a shelf life of about three years, and the best part is, it does not need freezing after being dried. You can enjoy your favorite ice cream flavor even when you are on a bug out. Long-term food packets. These include military rations and MREs. They cost a lot, but if you can afford them, do get some. They can come in handy. Other food items you can add to your bag include instant oatmeal, granola bars, soup mixes like dehydrated stew or veggie soup, sardines, corned beef, spam, pork, Oreos, peanut butter, crackers, jelly and Nutella, and lots more. You may be out there for more than 72 hours, which means you will be far away from refilling your healthy meals. If you have any illness, ensure that you only pack food items that are healthy for you. You should also update the contents of your bag every six months to keep having fresh food. The food items I've mentioned are not the only items you should stock up on. Pack a combination of lightweight food items. This way, you can enjoy a balanced diet. I would love to hear your own suggestions or any questions in the comments. You need a durable bag that can carry everything needed to survive a bug out. This bag should be large enough to carry three days worth of supplies, strong enough to withstand any weather, and made from tough materials. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I will be reviewing three bug out bags that allow for safe storage and easy access. Stay tuned to this video as I list out their specs and what I liked and disliked about the bags. Here we go. The first bag on the list is the 5.11 Tactical Rush 72. This bag is built using a 1050D nylon exterior and its interior capacity is 55 liters. You can get this bag in your favorite color as it has seven different color variations to choose from. Rush 72 is a huge bag with a big front pocket, a large main compartment, a hydration compartment, an admin pocket, and two side pockets. I liked its high quality zippers and its water resistant fabric. However, Rush 72 weighs 5.5 pounds without any gear inside and it's quite expensive. If you are looking for a tough exterior bug out bag, you should go for this bag. It offers great value for its price. Up next in second place is the Kelty Red Wing 44 Tactical Bug Out Bag. This bag is built with a 500D Kodra nylon exterior material and its interior capacity is 44 liters. Its color variations are limited, but you can select from the four colors the brand produces. If you tend to overpack, the Red Wing brand has two size options, 44 liters and a 50 liter bug out bag. This bag is the perfect bug out bag for people who want long term comfort. Kelty Red Wing 44 Tactical Bug Out Bag has a side bag for a water bottle, a laptop sleeve, a large main section, a quick access top pocket, and space for a hydration bladder. It is an extremely comfortable bug out bag that you can wear for long periods. What I don't like about this bag is its U-zipper design that makes it a bit difficult to open the bag completely. Kelty Bug Out Bag's long-term durability makes it a great choice for people who want a bug out bag that is comfortable and easy to use. The third bag I will be reviewing is the Condor 3-Day Assault Pack. This bug out bag has a molly, two 3-liter hydration bladder pockets, document pockets, pen holsters, and radio pockets. It is a great choice for you if you need a bag to easily put your things and grab and go. What I didn't like is its outer material, which is lightweight and less durable for thorny bushes. Apart from this, 
the bag serves well in terms of size and comfort. Several other brands out there may serve your needs if the above three bug out bags don't fit your packing plans. But you need to take the durability and materials of the bag into consideration before you buy any bag. Do you have any better bug out bag brand you would recommend? I would love to hear your own suggestions or any questions in the comments. During emergencies, there may be no time to pack up a bag for your best friend. That's why it is important that you put all the essential things in your dog's bug out bag. This way, you can just grab both your bags and head out the door immediately. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I will be talking about how to build your dog bug out bag. Stay tuned to this video as I list out the items. Here we go. Let's first talk about the bag. Your dog may need to assist in carrying its bug out bag. This only applies if you have a big, strong dog that's trained to carry out tasks. So if this is an option, when buying a bug out bag for them, you need to ensure that your dog can handle its weight. The bag size is important, and the number of pockets and compartments it has should be considered too. When shopping for your dog's bug out bag, you need to be certain that it can handle any weather condition. It should be durable enough to withstand any force thrown at it. The bag should also be accessible. If you need to unpack everything before you can find the item you are looking for, then that bag is not a great choice for emergencies. Versatility Most bags can do more than store or organize your dog items. You can find a bag that can double as a storage bag and as a harness for your dog. This way, you can harness the bag easily while on the move. The next thing is your dog's bag supplies. It should contain at least three days worth of supplies and a day extra just in case. Items like dog food and water should be in your dog's bug out bag. Where possible, go for dry food instead of canned food because they are lighter. Also, ensure that you carry smaller water bottles not to put too much weight on your dog's back. You should get a portable water filtration system and be ready to purify your own water on the move. Be prepared for any weather condition by packing a water-resistant coat and dog booties to protect your dog against snow and rain. Other supplies you should consider packing are poop bags, an extra collar, a leash, and comfort items like toys and dog treats. Most importantly, you need to include a first aid kit. Your pet should have a first aid kit, and this kit should contain medications, scissors, ointment, and any medication they may be taking. Sometimes emergencies may last more than anticipated. You need to prepare for this by packing a little bit of everything. You know your dog better than anyone else, so you surely know their needs. Have their bug out bag ready for any potential emergency and save yourself precious minutes during an emergency. I would love to hear your own suggestions or any questions in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.